He is Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. Coin Six is proud to celebrate the rich history of Asian Americans right here in our beautiful area. How about this? For two decades, this woman right here, a Portland DJ, has been bringing people together with her music and her moves. And I got the chance to take some dance lessons from DJ Anjali while learning more about her Indian culture. As you're about to see next, it's really fun. And then we can do two fingers here and you're gonna grab and do here, and then swing over. Just like that, I'm learning some South Asian dance moves from Anjali Hirsch. Okay, and then the foot, you can just do step. Also known as DJ Anjali. But my full name is actually Githanjali. Um, my mom named me, my mom's from India, she named me after a book of poems, which Githanjali means song offering. So it was kind of like I was born to be a DJ, you know? And she's been owning that birthright, hyping up Portland crowds since 2000, along with her partner, the incredible kid. Bhangra, which is the style I'm kind of more known for, is Punjabi folk dance. That style is almost like that music found me. Like, my family's from a different part of India, so I didn't grow up with Bhangra. But when I became a DJ, I got a couple of Bhangra CDs and like compilations, and it was just like such, it's such fun party music. Party music and dance scenes you might see in Bollywood movies. Like arms up, everybody's like jumping up and down, yeah. <laughs> and Bollywood definitely kind of um, absorbs a lot of Bhangra. Before becoming a DJ though, there was a time when Anjali didn't embrace that side of her ancestry. I mean, I, of course I went through my teenage era where I was like, I reject all of my Indian heritage, you know, and then it came back to me after college, like organically, like on my own terms, I guess. Her advice for others who might be going through something similar. I think as a kid, like an Asian immigrant kid, you can just be so annoyed when you're young by all of the traditions. I think that's really typical to go through your rejection phase. But then what the beauty of it is that later in life, you can embrace it kind of on your own terms. Through her journey to embracing her Indian roots, she's able to spread joy while sharing a fun part of her culture. And then you can do thumbs. All right, I know if you're a Seinfeld fan, that looked a little bit like the Elaine, okay? But <laughs> yeah. DJ Anjali is so awesome, though. It's so fun to learn these dance moves from her. She does have lots of upcoming events and da dance lessons, including this weekend's two-day spring festival, which is a celebration of color known as Holy. So go to coin.com for more information about that. And uh, it's just lots of fun. I can't say that enough. It looked fun. Liz, you were burning it up out there. I you did, were pretty I good. really did. Put in a lot of work for that. History <laughs> continues to be made with the Oregon women's golf team, and they had a chance to really make the mark down in Arizona today. Yeah.